Well, I'm calling out Sean. I want to make it special. A call out is when you challenge the guy above you. All call outs go through Chief. He sets up the race day and time. Right now, I'm just looking for some kind of prop just to make this call out a little bit more fun. Just kind of thinking on the fly. I don't have a whole bunch of ideas, so hopefully something will trigger something in here, tie it all together. Something like this one. Yeah. You can flatten the out of it, stomp up and down on it. Just need to pop the balloon a little bit, let some hot air out. King, Sean, whatever. Sean, the murder nova's time has come. The reign of the king is finally ended. Awesome. Beware of the beast. The beast is coming. That worked pretty damn good. I've never called anybody out like this before, so face to face in his shop, on his turf, in front of his friends. I don't know, they can say I'm crazy, they can say I'm stupid, whatever. I think it takes a little bit of balls to call out the king in his own castle. What's that? What is that? Special delivery for King Sean. <laughs> oh, it's the oh, ice yeah. man. Yeah. It's the ice man. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I got something for you here. The murder nova's time has come. The reign of the king is finally ended. You called me out? I'm calling you out. Right on. You doing a Saturday? Yep. Sounds good to me, man. It's cost me like 10 grand to get ready for this race. Good, good luck. Good luck. I said it first. <laughs> <laughs> I've been number one on the Midwest Streetcars list for right out about three years. And I've defended my number one title numerous amount of times. I don't know what really gave him the false confidence to call me out now, but I'm going to kick his ass. There's no way he's going to outrun me. Driver's meeting right here, right now. Second pair down the road, Doc and Sean for number one. You're going to go first, make a hit whichever lane you want. Then he's going to make a hit in whichever lane he wants. When you get done with your test pass, race for the number one spot, and then we're going to find out. Tonight's the biggest race of the year, number one and number two. What makes the list important is going down the night. We're going to find out who's faster. It's going to be awesome. Might be the last driver's meeting as number one for old Sean. There's no way he's going to outrun me. The stakes are high every time I race. This race between me and Doc is going to be about as serious as you can get. The Murder Nova is a 69 Chevy Nova, a big block Chevy with a F3X Pro Charger. It's got a 572 cubic inch Pro-Line engine in it, power glide transmission, and big old tires on the back for traction. It's making well over 2,000 horsepower. Three years in the making, this race with Murder Nova is super important, and I've got everybody looking. Most people think I can't do it. I think I can. We're about to find out. Beast is my baby. I've got a 15, 1600 horsepower engine. Big car, big tire, big transmission. Probably the baddest one in the United States. Ready, ready, ready? Yeah, I mean, I think it's going to knock the tires off. Oh, yeah. Back. It's going to knock the hoofs off. Up. It's uh, about to go down. The number one spot is on the line, and I'm ready to get it done. Before a big race, it's customary to do a test hit to make sure you can get your junk down the street. If everything feels good with your test pass, it's time to pull it to the line and let them hang. Get the charger out here. As soon as we get done, we can charge it. Anytime that somebody's been on top for as long as I've been on top, every race means a lot. It could shake up the whole list. He should already be out there doing his burnout. I mean, why wasn't he ready? Hey, you want me to tell them they can go ahead and we'll catch up in a second? No, f him. What are we doing? I ain't have time to be changing plugs and You knew what the hell we were doing? You're talking Whoa, 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 you're changing plugs? I thought it was ready. There's no doubt about it. I'm going to win because I'm more dedicated, and I want it more. I mean, hell, he's not even ready. This is know it, Doc. Doc takes 45 minutes changing the spark plugs at the spot. Everybody else changed the spark plugs before we came out here. It was total move. Ridiculous. You know, he's over there. He's wasting time. All right, calm down. Dang, race Man, I hope this test pass goes well. I've made all kinds of sacrifices, all to race Sean. Five days in my shop in a row, $3,000 on new transmission parts. Whatever it takes, I'm going to be number one. Doc finally got it together. I'm frustrated, you know? We should have already had our, our test hits done. We should be getting ready to race. What was that? 
1970s. That was a dry hop. This test pass isn't going well at all. That was ugly. Knew that was going to happen. The weather, the road is just not on our side today. We're going to make some quick adjustments and see if we can salvage a run, but it's not looking good now. I'm going to go ahead and start strapping in. The intense feeling that I have before a race, I would imagine it's the same thing as jumping out of an airplane. My hands tingle, my feet sweat, my stomach's balled up, but all that seems to go away as soon as I get in my car and get ready to do a burnout. I really hope testing goes well tonight. I haven't got to test all week. With the new tune-up that's in the car, we should be able to hit 150 in less than five seconds. What was he on the trains break for? He didn't know he was doing a burnout. I told him on the way back. Where's he at? He's just trying to drag some and it ain't going to work. Is he broke? Yeah, he's stuck way down there. I guess this is serious. Move the charger. Take my truck. Take Cliff with you. Find out what the is going on. That was the yeah. easiest hunt I ever made. <laughs> oh. Coming through. Where are we going? Wow. <laughs> yeah. There must be an ATM down there. <laughs> I pedaled it one time, stuck it again. It hooked, but whenever it hooked, I already had a lot of wheel speed, and it snapped the input shaft on the transmission. We didn't get the car ready. We didn't have the time to test, but sometimes things happen. Cars break. I didn't have a chance to test. Next time we race, it'll be ready. Broke the input shaft. Car's dead. Won't move under its own power. I feel like I'm never going to get to see Sean and Doc race. It's been years. We're here. This is terrible. The worst case scenario possible. We made a test hit. The car broke. So by the rules, Doc could actually take my spot right now. The call out was for tonight, and my car's unable to race tonight. When you can't make it to the line, you can't win the race. Doc, you and your crew. Nova broke the input shaft. So it's yours. If you want it, he broke. Now I got to decide if I want to take the spot. One hand, I can take the spot and get some instant satisfaction for all the hard work we put in the last 10 days getting my car ready. On the other hand, it's taking the spot by default. So I got a big decision to make. Well, I've said many, 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 many times, and why I said at number five for as long as I did the last time, I ain't taking a spot by default. Doc wouldn't take it that way. He wants to outrun the car. This race is too long coming, three hard, long years, and I just don't want to take it from him. I want to beat that car.